What's up guys, welcome back. I have a very special Tour Truck Tuesday edition here at a wet kingdom, which I love to see. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to bang that. We're bringing you more amateur fittings, but this one is a very special amateur to me. He's changed the channel, made a big difference, and now we're gonna see if I can return the favor and change his golf game. Q, step on board. <laughs> Are you ready for this experience today? No. <laughs> the man behind the camera is gonna give us some golf shots. Handicap? 4.6 right now. Biggest sandbagger ever to come on the Trotty Golf Channel. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> now you're gonna feel some of the heat that it's like to hit golf shots on camera. <laughs> TP5X is his golf ball. Looking at his golf clubs, and we'll bring them in in a minute. Oh. You just keep hitting. It is an absolute mixed bag, so we should see some big gains here. The kingdom is putting the pressure on people. This is not a normal rage. This is not a normal Yeah, it's setup. intimidating. It's good. Fair to say, golf game is better than the handicap. It is fair to say that, right, Q? No. <laughs> Good. So Q has seen everything that there is. He's seen the methods. He's seen what I go through. And he's already hit on it there, that this to him, there's a pressure situation. That's great. That's what we all want to feel with golf. So let's get, as always, Q, our, and I know you train and practice with the Tour Aim as well. Yeah, I love this. So thing. that's blue flag. It's just having something, as I've said in all these fittings, that is something we can latch on. Your alignment was good. The first one was maybe a little right, which I'd expect to see. Right is always what you see. No glove, buddy? You never uh, play with a glove? Not with wedges. Just so I can feel the club a little bit more. That's better. So, uh, you know, look. Benefit of the doubt, first couple of shots. But the divots are deeper than normal. The path is going left. I'm just going to keep looking here to see that you can get what I'm used to seeing as we go through the gears. Yeah. Um, because they're all just a little steep, a little deep. I've seen you. Mm -hmm. I know what there is here. You hit it good. Perfect. I mean, that is you right there. Yeah. Nice rhythm, good control, good golf shot. Spins off the hill. We know the spin rate's good. Look at the divot, though. It's, if yeah. anything, it's a hair deep on this side, going a little left. I mean, it's not bad. So let's move through the gears. Might as well get straight into this. I'm okay. going to give you a nine iron. This is what we're dealing with. <laughs> Doesn't need commentary, does it? <laughs> Here's the other thing that you can take from this if you look at it. Just have a little look at this. Wear mark, toe, okay? So that means for us out there as fitters, you've got, look, yeah, length is one thing you can look at, but it's not length. I mean, look at the height of the lad. He's in standard length golf clubs. It's delivery of the club is a little bit steep, okay? I also know, which we don't cover here, but I know the goals and the time you put into your game. I might play a little bit, knowing that if anything, you hit a little soft cut. I think a lot of the reason for it is because your wedges are very flat, okay. for, to be fair. Too flat for where you're at. But your irons, I just went and measured your seven iron. Your lie angle on your seven iron is two, de this is an eight, but on your seven is two degrees upright of what standard is for our 770. Oh, damn. Two degrees up. Okay. Because what they've done with this set, it's a game improvement set, nothing wrong with it. They're great, they're very strong. We discovered, discussed that on camera. Very strong in ball flight. Use a TP5X golf ball, so no spin. You've got to be struggling to hold the odd green. So what you've done to adjust for that, you've played with the cut, because the cut adds spin, yeah. therefore the ball lands softer. Yeah but you're using very upright clubs to stop you losing it to the right. I think everyone who comes into golf, and Q's only been playing like three or four years, yeah. you're a victim of the clubs. So the clubs are too upright, which means that's pointing too close to your nose. You hit these little cuts that we're gonna see in a minute, mm -hmm. that peaks not quite at the height it should because the lofts are too strong, yet you play great golf because you hit these little peel cuts. I'm gonna give you a club that's gonna be weaker in loft, a little bit different lie angle, that will enable you to hit it further to the right so you won't have to hit the cut because okay. it'll change a little bit. Okay. It's gonna be an adjustment, like always, you're that the looks... CEO, it does look like that, <laughs> but you're the CEO of your own golf game. Okay. So you can go 790 if you want, I just wanna see the numbers to prove to you that I'm right and then you do what you want. Okay. There's a famous uh, <laughs> soccer football, for anyone English, coach, um, legend, Brian Clough, and there was a player called Teddy Sheringham, legend as well, famously once said that he sat Teddy Sheringham down and talked to him until they both agreed that Brian was right. <laughs> Is that what we're going to have to do here? We're going to have to sit down and talk to you for a while until we both agree that I'm right. Probably. Which I would never do, I'm just yeah. joking. The player is always the boss. The player is always the boss. Don't do that out there. Okay, so we're going uh, blue flag, mate. 
<laughs> but this is what's hard to play golf or hit shots with you in general. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Can't stop laughing. There's a comedy value. Gosh. Okay, then... over the blue flag. But that's important to anyone watching this. There should be a comedy value because you want the person that you're fitting to chill. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got to see the best part of their game. Now we do it because we're here and the kingdom's intimidating and I guess my five foot four frame can be intimidating. <laughs> but we got to get you to chill because we know you hit great golf shots. Yes. <laughs> so you got your little comfort blanket, you've got your 10 degree upright eight iron. <laughs> and your whippy shaft, and let's see some real magic as to what you've got. All right, all right. Let's see go. some of go. you. Okay, great shot. So they say, so they say, that you should be able to, which is perfect, I'm like royalty, I have no credit cards or money on me, so we will use, <laughs> we will, I'm trying to find something flat. We'll use this plug for our friend here. Stick the club down. So this is pretty thin, all right? They say that you should be able to slide a credit card. Go and put it down. You should be able to slide a credit card just under the toe, all right? I mean, I can go. Oh. Because what's going to happen, centrifugal force as you come through with speed, that's going to bow and the toe's going to come down. Look at these divots, mate. I could put a flipping tomato garden in the freaking <laughs> right side of that. <laughs> these things are that's in, a, in any of them. A it. tomato garden? It's deep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. The, the wedges are too flat and the irons are too upright. So if it just to correct that for anyone seriously watching this, if it's the wedges, which we've hit here, I could bury stuff down in the right side. And then for the actual irons, you can see I can bury stuff down on the left side because you've got too upright and too flat. Your yeah. lie angles are all over the map. Oh yeah. We're gonna change your lie angles today before <laughs> we order you some new sticks. <laughs> your lie angles are, I mean, it's like a flipping you don't know what you're going to get. It's like a Christmas chocolate selection. That's that's kind of how the golf game is. <laughs> you never know. You could get anything. But if we look at the numbers in all seriousness, good. And that's a, that's credit to you as a player. Normalize on, early in the morning, 133 carry, total 140. I mean, yeah, eight times we've seen that. Apex a little low, 83. If I look at your club speed, 83. I want them to be about the same. We know that from the KBS fitting, so acceptable. 7,800, beauty, on the spin rate, beauty. But what was the launch? Launch angle was 21, haven't measured that. I know the seven iron was at 31, which is a six iron loft. So that one will be at 34. Mm. I'd like you to launch it a little bit lower than that, ideally. Okay. But okay. you're using absolute flipping <laughs> ax tools. So it's difficult to get them to launch correctly. It is impossible to play golf with you. You know what, I've seen enough of those clubs hit, hit this. Okay. <laughs> Hit this. So we know that's not bad. I okay. definitely need to work on the loft and lies. I'm going to adjust them today. Oh, well, it's not that bad. This is the club that you need to use. Okay. And you need to stop at four or five iron, depending on what you tell me, and play a little cheeky rescue if you want. Let's stop at six and play a rescue. <laughs> or you could play a 790, but we weaken it Ooh. in the four. That's what you could do. How about a nine wood? You could have a nine wood if you want a nine wood. <laughs> I'm not playing golf with you with a nine wood, but you could have one. <laughs> about, a, about a seven wood. <laughs> ah, play with your mates. <laughs> now seven woods are good. We like seven woods. We like nine woods if your name's Tommy Fleetwood. Good. So you see how that drifts a little more? Yeah. That's lie angle. Got you. And I think you as a golfer, have adjusted to that. Okay. So I would like to see a slightly different shaft to give us a slightly higher apex, because apex was low again on that. This is a seven iron spun at six, six. Okay. So any spin rate out there I'm looking for, take the number of the bottom of the club, add a thousand. And if someone wants super, super spinny, add 1500. So seven iron, 7,500. If there is speed involved. Okay. Which you just about got enough speed. It's good. Good. I'm going to go and hunt down that other shaft. Okay. We're going to go with this. Okay. So tour light. So this thing will be a feather. Um, I think some of it could be swing weight. Okay. Swing weight, balance point. Any of the diehards who follow this are going to know by now what this is, that is. I just want to see before we get too far down the rabbit hole. Okay. If you don't like it, we go back to the comfort blanket. Okay. Golf shot. Oh, that felt good. Good. Let's play some games. Okay. 
Because I don't think we're far away now. So okay. why waste shots on irons? I like Let's play it. some games. Draw it round there. Okay. Play, play the game. If you've got someone dialed and ready to go, which are so in a fitting now, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm done. I wouldn't say that again, but it's like, I'm done. So <laughs> draw, come on, round there, yep. turn it over. And I don't mean I'm done as I'm over it. I mean, it ain't getting any better than this. You know I'm what I mean? Done. That's draw what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay little more. draw, look up, get lost in the targets, play real golf, come on. Okay, decent. Now hit a fade. Okay. Not your best, but no. you know what? It's front left on a golf course. Just get lost in the process a little bit. The divots are shallower, which is better. The club feels light. You've already said that. You've alluded to it. Look at the target. Martin Chuck, you were there. Ah. Okay. Keep going. Let's see if we can do what you want to do. It's drawn over, though. Because it's so light in the golf shaft. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That I, now you're like, oh, like hang it. on. That's why I'm challenging you to hit these shots because I want to see I like it. the feels. So yeah. hit the, hit the. Well, you went for draw. You went for fade, you said. I went for fade, Go yeah. for draw now. Okay. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, I like that. So now what That's you do as a fitter, any fitters out there, you just nice. hit another shot, hit another shape. You know, the player's saying it. You're saying it's nice, it's what I want. So a draw, 6,100. Love it. Good. Okay. Can handle that. Good shot. So look, ball, I didn't see it, but ball position seemed a little back there. Yeah. So you, how are you going to hit fade back there? I don't know. You, it's tough, basically. It's a good... Just move the ball a bit further forward for your fades. Okay. Good. Hold on to it. You just released it. Lovely strike, though. I can't hit 770s, what do you mean? You haven't just missed the middle of the bat yet. How did you know where you were aligned though? Because you didn't even look up. Huh? The face angle is close to the path. That's why you're getting these draws. So you got your face angle 3.2 close to the path. Okay. And the path is pretty neutral. I'm happy to watch you hit draws all day, <laughs> but we want a fade. Yeah. So give me a fade. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise the club, and, and look, this can just be a cue practice session and we have a great time, but we're fitting <laughs> the golf clubs. Yeah. If you can't hit a fade with this, I got to make a change. Got it. And I'm getting close to doing that. Okay. Golf shot. Now that to me is a fade. Yeah. I would say that counts as a fade. Half yard, fall left to right. Brilliant. That, that would be a great number. Yeah, 7,500. That's a golf shot I like to see. 7,500. That felt good. That was a driven fade. It was a good fade. Face to path, 0.4 open. Okay. Fantastic. Club path, minus 4.2 left. Good. Everything's good. Okay. <laughs> so fade it round there onto that white flag. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome. Now hit a draw. Look, not your best strike, but no. look, I, I'm happy with it. Whoa. It's way too flat in the flight. Street lamp on the right, turn it onto the white flag. Good golf shot. It's not released though, is it? No. It's a good golf shot though. Fitting's good. You got room to do a few things here. So just add some loft, add some face angle. I think this is why you're adamant you want to go light and soft, I think. Everything you're doing with equipment is all instinct and it's your instinct is right oh that's good yeah you've got upright clubs you got everything you're doing is right i just think i gotta change it and then let you adjust to it better height much better height better speed more like it buddy so driving the three with the fitting's done i'm gonna build it around the five wood i say that all the time you know uh-huh we're gonna hit a fade okay hit me a fade Oh, gosh. What do you mean? Oh, gosh. It's a pretty good fade. Do it again. Same ball position. Okay. So, it's like here. Your chest turns towards that ball. Hit me a fade from there. Golf shot. Little toey? Yeah, a little toey. Good, good height, though. Yeah. Good. Whoa. So, that's what a fade should do. 2,800. Side carry, seven left. Face to path, 0.8, 1.1 right on the spin axis. 106 apex, that's a decent apex. The driver setup is good. You just need a bit of time to fall in love with the thing. <clears throat> you hit driver, good. Hello? Oh. Hello? 
about time. I mean, I've been stood here for ages. <laughs> I'm trying. What are you doing? This is why I'm behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so I think just to recap on that, when oh, you set, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Yeah. When you set up to it, what we need to do is you need to turn the zipper of the or the mic more 45 towards the camera at this point. Okay. And then go. Shaft wise, can we get deeper into Pandora's box? Of course we can, but that's the softest shaft I want to put you in and okay. the lightest shaft I want to put you in. You've got this, which is one up from that. Okay. Great. I wouldn't go into a different model of that because it goes up again. Going to suggest a bit heavier okay. than this, but only a seven, okay. just because I know you like light. Just I think with where your golf game is going, it's hard because your DNA is set up for off the shelf production light stuff. Mm -hmm. And whenever I try and give you something that is usually where someone of your generation would want to go, you don't like it. <laughs> but you're I get scared of it. <laughs> you're the CEO of your own golf game. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not for me to tell you that you like the taste of freaking dim sum. You might not. <laughs> if I do, it's that's the beauty of this game. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Lie angles are way off. So I think we've got to go standard, standard, standard on everything. Okay. Driver three wood, five wood, seven wood, nine wood. <laughs> then you build the setup around that. Okay. Five iron, two pitching wedge, 770. We're going to go and check the lie angles of everything now. I'm going to move everything you've got. You're going standard, standard on everything. Grips will pick. You're going to probably go standard width, I would say. Okay. What, to glove size are you? Medium. I Medium, think. yeah. So if you put your hand on, the left hand on. So all I'm looking for is in here. Just if I see that, where it's just touching, I know I'm in a good spot. If I look at a player and they get really weak, oh. or yeah, you just want to have, if you've not got a glove on, you see how it's just starting to go in and just push the fleshy pad. Yeah. Now I get a little weak and a little uh, strong in the right hand. So for me, that's why I never go any thicker. Okay. Because, it, it, you know, if I go any thicker, then I'm gonna get even weaker and stronger with the two hands. Gotcha. So, you know, I always play in that, but I also don't like really thin, but I'm just there. Gotcha. And every time I pick up two tapes, I always like that even more, but then it's just such a feel. It's like mm -hmm. wearing someone else's pants. It doesn't work. You know yes. what I mean? This doesn't ever feel quite right, does it? Not that I've done it much, but that's another story. We're off to go and check and bend some of these while we wait for the order to come through. Anyone out there doing the fitting, you've got to take on what the person wants. That's the main takeaway from this. Hopefully you got that. Lightweight, look at how they came into the game. Get a picture of that individual. You know what a good shot looks like for you. We'll get you nine woods and we'll definitely do another video on that. But Q, thanks, I mate. I appreciate you. Legend. Thanks, man. Thank we'll get you. this dialed now. <laughs> Oh,